Okay, so with the heart dissection, what we have here is a pig's heart. Right now, I'm just sterilizing my hands beforehand because this will provide a barrier against infection. Um, just on, in the slight chance that there's something I can pick up from it, but it's extremely unlikely. So handling a pig's heart like this is just the same as handling a piece of meat in the kitchen. It's not a great danger. We have got gloves, but I don't particularly recommend you use them unless you've got bad cuts on your skin. You really don't need it. So if we can see the heart clearly there, um, what you'll see from the front view of the heart, now I'm angling this to the front view, what we see is at the top, it has what are called the heart ears. And the heart ears, these flaps, they're also called auricles. They're extension pouches of what's known as the atrium, the top chambers. Um, the base of the heart here we see at the tip, it has a thick muscular wall. We can see this externally. And this is going down into the lower chambers that are known as the ventricles. So the ventricles are the main area for providing a muscular pump action that will deliver blood to the body. Um, the atrium fill at the back of the heart, and here the butcher has removed uh, the vessels going into the back of the heart. These are the veins that enter into the atrium. But you can see here that this oracle, this ear, you can see how much it looks like, a little bit like a dog's face there, isn't it? You can see it's got two ears at the top. They're just pouches that will fill with blood there. Orientating the heart, this side is the right side of the heart. This is the front and this is the left side of the heart. So remember, the sides of the heart are to the heart. It is the heart's right side. It appears on your left. Um, and if we've got it facing round the right way, we would then know that the back here is the way into the atrium, the top chamber of the heart. And this is where the vena cava would come in. And the vena cava is also known in, then in Latin as the, the cavernous vein. It's the largest vein of the body. And here the blood slowly pools into the heart before it's going to be allowed down into the ventricles and then pump out. On the other side, we would have the pulmonary vein, which comes from the lungs and to the left side of the heart and to the left atrium. Again, with atrium, you'll be maybe familiar with the word atrium from the uh, atriums of buildings. Atrium is entrance hall. That's why we use the word atrium. So the, the, the atrium of the heart are the entrance halls. The top of the heart, you can see there are two major blood vessels. One's thicker walled than the other. These blood vessels are called the aorta. So the aorta, these, this is a, the major artery of the body. It's a huge blood vessel. And this is, if you like, the main purpose of the heart. to Get the oxygenated blood out through the aorta. In an intact heart, it comes into what's called the aortic arch. And it will send blood up to the head down to the tips of the toes all around the body and it's a huge thick walled artery in a blue well you could actually swim through it it's that big but not in a pig this one here this is the pulmonary artery and you can see it's still thick walled compared with uh, veins the walls are thicker and this is taking blood to the lungs so it doesn't have so far to go. When we did the lung dissection, you remember the lungs are right here. The heart is in a chamber between the two lobes of the lung. Still a very important job. The pulmonary artery has to take blood at pressure to the lungs where the alveoli um, will receive the blood through capillaries. And that's where the gas exchange will happen. So you need to keep this blood pumping there in, from the pulmonary artery to the lungs and back into the pulmonary vein. While we're looking at the external view then, so right now we've seen various features, orientating the heart, look for the coronary arteries across the front of it. These coronary arteries, these deliver blood to the heart muscle itself. So the, the, they are the first blood vessel 
to leave the aorta. Of course, the heart is a muscle. It needs to respire. So it needs oxygen-rich blood. And the heart's main job is to supply oxygen-rich blood to all the organs that need oxygen for respiration. And so it's to itself first. So it pumps back to itself continuously to keep the heart pumping. Okay, so those are the main external features. And what I'd like you to do now is um, sketch those down. So if you can label the features I've just, just been over. You're going to, be able to take your heart now and have a look at those. Uh, we can pause the video there because we have to come back to that. Thanks. So having orientated the heart, we can now begin the first incision to open up the left ventricle. To find the right, right place here to cut, notice the coronary arteries running diagonally across. We've got it facing forwards. We've got the oracles flapping at the top here. We can see the pulmonary vein, which actually comes from the uh, right side of the heart coming in front of the aorta. Uh, on some hearts, you might have here an intact aortic arch. Uh, one of the things about orientation you can check is that the artery with the thickest walls is behind the one with the thinnest. Then you've got it the right way around. So the incision that you make is a cut uh, that is going to go into the left ventricle chambers. If you go too close to the wall here, you will be cutting a slice through the wall. So to get the cut in, we need to push the scalpel down and into the ventricle chambers, cutting right through the wall, down towards the tip of the, the apex of the heart here. And if I open this up, you see that cut isn't yet deep enough. We're just into the wall. We're not through it. So I go in a bit deeper here. And you see, it's now opening up into the chamber. And we can see the fluting in the muscular wall of the chamber and the thickness of that left ventricular wall. It's a very thick wall because this is the chamber that has to pump, pump blood then out of the aorta to the whole of the body. So, now to further open up this cut on the left side of the heart here, I'm now going to use the scissors to cut up and out through the atrium. So by following this route up into the atrium and into the oracle there, I can open up the chamber completely. This here, there's a few blood clots on it. You remove these, and I can see the difference, first of all, between the nature of the atrial walls, the thin walls of the atrium, and the thick muscular wall of the left ventricle. The job of the atrium, of course, is to receive the blood here on the left side from the lungs, so this would come through the pulmonary vein here into this chamber slowly filling with blood and the only push this has to do is to put a little pressure on to push it down into the ventricle whereas the ventricle's job is much greater it's got to push it up and out through the aorta now the valve between the two is known as the bicuspid valve so the bicuspid valve's job is to prevent backflow of blood from the ventricle back into the atrium. And you can't see it that clearly when the heart's open, but if you actually close it back up, you'll see how the heart strings here hold these flaps of skin out. And so they would, the blood would pull under the bicuspid valve there. These heart strings, as they're called here, these tendons um, are there to stop the bicuspid valve from going back. In exams, you're often asked what the function of a valve is, and the function of a valve is always the same answer. It prevents backflow. It ensures one direction. Um, so those um, tendons here, I can cut through those. We see the thick uh, muscular wall. Let's get rid of this blood clot. See this thick muscular wall here of the, um, of the, the ventricle. And we can see that if the blood is now pumping up, there's only one way out, and it's here. 
up and out through the aorta. So we can now open this up. So I cut up through the aorta. Opens the whole heart up. And we now see the route the blood will take out, because it's the only way out of the ventricle, uh, up through past the semilunar valves. And we see the three of them there with their classic semilunar half-moon valves, also known as pocket valve structure, um, and then into the smooth walls of the aorta itself. And the function of these, they're valves, so the function is always the same. They prevent backflow of blood. And the pocket valves allow blood this way, and then when the heart stopped its, its contraction, blood falls back into the semilunar valves. In fact, these valves are what gives the heartbeat its sounds. So this one here, the first ventricular contraction, makes a sound as the bicuspid valve moves back up, and that gives us the lub, because the heartbeat is lub-dub, 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 lub. And this one then has a high pressure beat going up and it comes back dumb. <laughs> That's a heartbeat sound. Okay, now, do you want to cut it there? <laughs>